Now we are joined in the Harvey Norman Lounge by editor of Beauty EQ, Trudy Brewer, who's here to teach us all about the latest trend in skincare. Good morning, Trudy. Good morning, Mel. So what exactly is this trend? Well, it's called customised skincare, mm. and customisation is a massive trend. I mean, we're going into a phase called um, consumer, um, globalised consumerism, which means that consumers are actually choosing what they want to do. And Nike's a good example of that. You can make your own sneakers. Oakley have now an online where you can design your own sunglasses. Right. And I guess skincare's followed suit, really, um, and cosmetics. So what's happening in the beauty? Like, is it skincare and beauty, or just it's, beauty? Or? It's both. Um, skincare's probably moved a little bit quicker than, than the cosmetics, although there are foundations now that you can customise yourself. Yes, um, Elizabeth Arden have got one, I think. They that do. Customize. It's customised colour. And you can actually go in and programme what your lifestyle's like, what colour you like, like, what text you like, and they actually make you a bottle of foundation, which That's is so cool. clever. That's very clever. Um, and there are a few other options in that in that realm as well. But I guess the thing that we're talking about a lot is customised skincare. So your skin is changing every day, and so you can decide what it needs. You okay. can decide whether it needs more moisture or a little bit of detoxification. <laughs> Always detoxification. Yeah. <laughs> so how does it actually work? So you get a booster shot or a product that you add to your other products. So you can customise your regular moisturiser with something that give it an extra boost a bit like taking a wheatgrass shot in the morning for your body it's the same concept for your skin really yeah so what how does it work though with your product it's not going to sort of like um i think like sometimes when you put soy milk and coffee it sort of goes into it, a horrible yeah. big mess no this is this these little boosters are designed and most of them are oil based so they're designed to mix them with your moisturizer or your foundation so, yeah and actually blend seamlessly so there is a lot of clever technology behind it i mean beauty companies have not just thought oh let's just put something in you know the moisturizer and here we right. go and hope it works so you can actually work it doesn't have to be brand to brand like if you've got a certain brand of product you don't have to put it into that one you can put into any moisturizer that you've got well these brands would love it if you bought their yeah. moisturizer as well but I don't I just use it in anything you know if I use a normal moisturizer that I've used for five years and I love it and I want to customize it you can do that with this range that I've bought in so who can use it anyone really that's really? the great thing you know I think because our skin is changing all the time our lifestyle is incredibly busy we are subjected to such huge and you know um, mm. free radicals now with sun and pollution you can actually decide if your skin is looking dull and drab your skin is looking dull and drab and you can customize it to suit your skin and it also changes with your hormones throughout the month as well for totally women. totally okay and let's get babies, to the fun stuff you know yeah, oh, babies, don't mention what they do in your skin. Babies, yeah. um, let's get to the fun stuff, the products that you've brought in today. I've bought three in that are relatively new. One hasn't launched yet. Ooh. So should we start with the Clarins boosters? Yes, let's have a look at these. So these are little boosters and you would add, just tip them upside down and add two drops to your moisturiser or your foundation or your serum or your primer. That's the other thing. They don't necessarily have to sit in your moisturiser. So there's energy, which is basically caffeine based. Which is the energy one. The, Whoops, the orange, orange one. one. There we which go. Which would be great for you with your early morning start. Yes. Um, and it's basically an a extract of coffee in that, along with other things. And you just pop a, pop a couple of drops into your moisturiser and just put it on as you normally would. Perfect. Um, repair is great if you're an outdoors girl. Um, if Tram you, as well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Skiing season, amazing. That's mimosa in that as the base ingredients. And detox, fantastic. Um, ginseng. So really good detox. So that's great if you've had a couple of wines with the girls. I could use all of these ones you probably could. in the same day. So how much should I be putting just on? Tip it upside down and press the bottom. Yep. Just two drops like that into your moisturiser. That's all you need? Yep, that's all you need. And actually, you can mix all three together if you're feeling really drab, or you can just mm. mix two. Um, nice, nice two. Okay, great. The, so what's our next one? The second in? option is DLO. Now, DLO is an amazing oil that is harvested in the South Pacific. It's from a tree called the, the a, a Sacred Tree of Virtues, and Fijians use this for everything. Okay. Nappy rash, sun, sun damage. So you just pop a couple of drops of the DLO oil into your moisturiser, and it's a good natural oil. Fabulous. And what's this one and by Clinique? These are launching this week, the 17th. Um, they're BIY, so they blend your own foundation. So these are little makeup drops that you would put into your moisturizer. They're very runny, so they right. just, you just go into your moisturizer. Drops, into your moisturizer, and you create a tinted foundation. That is fantastic. Yeah. Trudy Brewer, thank you so much for bringing oh, those exciting new products in for us. We can all customize now. Customize. Uh, and if for more tips of uh, more of Trudy's tips, rather head to her website, which is beautyeq.co.nz.